So guys, I've had a chat with Jonathan and it's, uh, he's given this machine a very glowing reference. We're, I'd like to talk to you guys about what you think about it. First, let's start with you, Steve. Would you agree with Jonathan in saying that this is a very heavy duty, well-built yeah. machine? Yeah, that's the main reason we wanted this because of the table load it could take. Because a lot of them we were looking at were 300 kg table load, but then when you get tipping them, it's less than that. This will actually tip 600 kg. That's an, that's an important point. I've never come across that before then. So even though people might state a weight on a table, that's not the same when it's, when it's turned to a no, 90 degree. No, it's reduced sometimes, yeah. Which for our sort of work, bolsters and that, square blocks, we need to be able to take the weight on the table and tip as well to get into the part. And had you seen this machine before you went to XYZ? Yeah, I had seen it on your video with, um, when it was demonstrated with Mike Corbin and it gave us a good insight to see how the machine moved and the size and how it looked built and that with the working area. What's the biggest component you've actually put on here so far? Um, it'd be a bolster 500 square by 56 thick, I think at the moment. Yeah, that's the largest one. Okay, we got. But you're doing lots of different parts because you've obviously got a smaller yeah. one on here today. Yeah. Ian, from a programming side, you're obviously hands on here at the yeah. control. You've done a lot of uh, work with Hyde and Haynes on three and four axes. How, how have you adapted to going for to five? Um, pretty easily, really. It's no different to the three to four axis. The programming side's the same. It's just working out, learning the sequence of programming is compared to three to four axes. And, and have you had much training? Did you get much training or did you need much training? We had a day's course uh, where we basically showed the basics, but other than that, we've sort of been going through it ourselves and learned ourselves. It's, it isn't that hard to pick it up as you go along. And have you had any five axis experience before? Is this your first entry into five axis? Yes, yeah, it's my first go on five axis, so yeah. It's, uh, and you're still smiling, that's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Steve, on, on, on the CAD CAM side, you had, a, you had a system that you use in your machine shop. Uh, did, did XYZ and you guys work together to get the right post to, get, uh, to be able to use that on here too? Uh, more the CAM supplier supplied the post, and to be honest, we haven't had a problem with it. It's worked fine with the machine, so it's all worked together good which is something that we must have to get the machines useless without the cam package, really. So it's something we really needed to be correct for work in the machine. Certainly with some of the profiling you're doing and the, and the, and the more yeah. uh, simultaneous type five axis machining, you need to have that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, we, we will be using the full simultaneous five axis quite a bit on some of the components, inserts for moulds and that, yeah. And how do you find loading this machine as well, Ian? Because five axis is, is, is uh, often sometimes difficult to get into machines, but here, certainly with bigger parts, do you, do you get in easily? Yeah, yeah, we've got a really big door, and really big entrance, so, and the actual machine's fairly set back as well, so you don't, you're not having to lean into the machine to get in parts onto the table, so it's easier for me. And you do, uh, do have, well, you've got plenty of muscles, but you do have cranes yeah, here. Yeah, I've got cranes and that. Most of the jobs we do are <laughs> a bit heavier than what you can actually yeah. lift yourself. And, and when you were exploring the market, you must have been looking at five axis. Were you a bit daunted? Did you think when this comes in, you know, there's going to be a lot of expectation from me to be able to improve that productivity? Was, was that um, a factor in your mind? A little bit, yeah. It was just a bit daunting. But, you know, I say from the jobs we have done on it already, it has saved a lot of time, mainly on setups. And if you, were to, uh, if you were to look at more five axis machines in the future, the purchase of this XYZ machine, has it gone smooth enough and uh, have you been impressed enough to uh, push you in the direction of saying, actually, why wouldn't we just have another one of these? Yeah, no, I exactly would, yeah, I'd just get another one of these. Just, yeah, it's all been sorted. They've been really good XYZ with yeah. the machine, haven't they? Sorting out any problems or that. So, yeah, I'd just stick with the same, to be honest, yeah.